Hello friends, I am Varsha Sharma, working as the assistant professor in the Biani group of colleges. On the behalf of Guru KPO, I am presenting a lecture on the topic of beta estimation. Before discussing a beta, it is very essential to know the meaning of risk. Risk means variability in the returns. When our actual returns are differ from our expected return, then risk occurs. Risk occurs. There are two types of risk. First one is systematic risk and second one is unsystematic risk. Generally when we discuss the risk, we generally use the word of uncertainty. But there is a difference between the risk and the uncertainty. When we risk, in the risk, decision maker suggests that there is a possible consequence of the investment. But in uncertainty, this decision maker says there is, the, there is a decision maker does not know the outcome. So we can say that in the uncertainty, decision maker does not know the outcome. In risk, we, in risk, we assign the probabilities and find out or calculate the risk of the investment. But in uncertainty, we don't have any idea about the outcome, so we do not find out the the calculation of uncertainties. Basically, risk are two types. First one is systematic risk and second one is unsystematic risk. Systematic risk are those risks which we cannot diversify. It remains in the portfolio, it cannot be diversified or eliminated because it is arise due to the change in economical, political and social changes. Second one is Second one is unsystematic risk. Unsystematic risk is specific or unique risk. It is arise in the organization. We can eliminate this risk in our from our portfolios. First, we discuss the systematic risk. Systematic risk has three parts. First of one is market risk. It is arises due to the social, economic, and political changes. Second one is interest rate risk. Change in uncertainty about the market future value or the future income. That, fluct that caused by fluctuation of interest rate is known as interest rate risk. There is negative or inverse relationship between the price of security and the interest rate. When the interest rate rise, price of securities is reduced. When the interest rate is reduced, price of security is increased. Third one is purchasing power risk. This risk is related to the inflation. Purchasing, when the prices is rise, purchasing power of money is reduced. Second is unsystematic risk. Unsystematic has a two parts. First one is internal business risk. This risk is relevant to the internal operation of the business. And second one is financial risk. This risk is relevant to the debt and equity structure of the company. Borrowed fund means debt funds and honor fund means equity funds. They have a they have a proper ratio in our organization. Another it creates the financial risk. When Systematic risk of individual security is measured in terms of beta. Beta is a Greek word. Beta is a Greek word. It measures the sensitivity of the market movements of a systematic risk. In beta, when the beta is 0, it characterizes as a government security. When the beta is greater than 1, it is aggressive security. When the beta is less than 1, then it is a defensive security. When the beta is, is equal to 1, then it is a normal or the market security. Generally, we say beta is 2. It means market return, if market return is increased or decreased by 10%, then expected increase or decrease in the security return is 20%. Means when the market return increase or decrease 10 percent, then our security return is expected to increase or decrease by the 20 percent. And we can calculate the beta through this formula. The formula of the beta is covariance between security and the market divided by standard deviation chi square of market. From through the this diagram, we can also explain the systematic risk and the unsystematic risk. This downward sloping is unsystematic risk because when the when we increase the number of securities in our portfolio, then this risk will be reduced. And this horizontal line shows the systematic risk. Through this line, we measure the beta. It is a fixed. It has remained in our portfolio. It cannot be eliminated. And through the systematic risk, we can measure the beta or systematic risk is helpful to measure the beta. Thank you, thank you, thank you.